Welcome to the AMG Driving Academy. It's a curriculum imported from Europe where we have one, two, and three-day courses where you'll get to experience virtually the whole line of AMG vehicles provided for you. World-class driving instructors at some of the greatest racetracks in North America. Hi, I'm Tommy Kendall, four-time Trans Am champ and host of Test Drive on Speed Channel. Welcome to the AMG Driving Academy. I hope you enjoy these short films that take you through a little bit of the curriculum that we teach at the Academy. You've learned to put it all together. Now, how about racing someone? In the next episode, we're going to talk about racecraft, or how do you set people up for passes. Well, this is where it all comes together. You've learned the fundamentals, uh, worked on stringing it all together, racing the racetrack. The real magic is when you actually get to go race with people and, and pass. So that's where what we call racecraft comes in. And it's a couple things. You still are really racing the racetrack, but you got to figure out some way to get by the guy in front of you. So after a few laps, you, you kind of need to size up the guys and see where the weaknesses are. And generally, the longest straightaway is going to be your best shot. So at Lime Rock, you're going to really concentrate on getting a good run through this last corner, getting back to the throttle early, basically effectively increasing the length of your straightaway, and try to time it so on the exit, you're just about to run to the guy in front. Then you pull out to pass, and you carry that speed on past him. And then sometimes you don't have enough speed to carry it all the way down, so the second half of the pass often occurs in the break zone, where you have a right and then a left is another place, you know, when the guy's switching back to the right to set up to get maximum radius, you slide down the inside. That makes your corner a lot tighter, but you're on the inside and he has to yield. And these are things that literally you will refine for the rest of your lives. I've been doing this for 25 years and you never get it totally sorted out. You know, your vision is incredibly important. The common refrains that you'll hear from instructors for beginners is low eyes, low eyes. And the problem there is if you're not getting the information soon enough, it doesn't matter how quick your reactions are, you don't have time. Things start happening too quickly for you. So almost magically, you do nothing else but raise your eyes and everything gets better. All of your, your handwork gets better, your footwork gets better because you're getting the information quicker. You also get feedback in terms of the attitude of the car through your seat back. And much like the sensors that are in the ESP system, you've got those same sensors built into your body. It senses when the car is starting to slide, and the more experience you get, the more tuned in those sensors will become. When it comes about racecraft, it's about studying your enemy. If uh, certain parts of the track, your car might be better suited, or you, maybe your driving style. And so, when I'm lining up this SL, I know that uh, this car is a little bit heavier than this car, so he's going to struggle a little bit in the brake zones. He turned in a little early there, which hurt his exit speed. I get a good run off the corner, get up next to him. This straightaway isn't really straight, so you kind of need a little cooperation from the guy in front of you there. If he wants to be a real terror, he can just uh, zigzag down the straightaway. To a car enthusiast, the, uh, the worst day at the track is better than the best day at the office. Not just the horsepower, it's the grace of kind of balancing the car right on the limit of control. You're on a racetrack and it's you against the laws of physics and whoever can balance their car closer to that limit more of the time is the guy who wins the race or girl these days. And that's what's so great about the academy is this is the environment to explore those limits. This is the environment to, to take some chances both to work outside of your comfort zone and to explore the limits of the car itself. The number one thing I'm asked at the AMG Driving Academy is what do you do to these cars to prepare them? The only thing we do is we break them in. Um, they're straight off the production line. And uh, that's the remarkable thing, is people will have a hard time believing that you can do this in a car that anyone can buy. Like I said, it really is a life's work. And that's what's so fun about it, is uh, no matter how capable you are, you never quite figure it all out. There's always something a little bit different to try to explore how to make yourself better, how to make the car better. It really is a never-ending puzzle. If you didn't know, all the content was filmed on a closed course by professional drivers. Do not try this on public roads. Always wear your seatbelt and drive responsibly.